What's up guys, Nax Tech here and this is going to be a video showing you Google Chrome on iOS. Now, I've had some real issues with Google Chrome on iOS and I'm just going to jump straight into it and uh, show you them. It's already loaded Engadget. Actually first I'll just show you some of the uh, good features with iOS and Google Chrome. If it ever decides to load, this is one of the problems, it can be really laggy. Um, I'm going to jump into the settings here. It signs into your Google account, which is great because you get everything. You get the tabs, you get your history, you get your passwords, and it's all synced over all your Google Chrome accounts. So, like, if you have Google Chrome on your laptop, all the history, uh, all the passwords, all the stuff, all the tabs is all saved, put on the cloud, and you can get it on your iOS device or Android device. Um, yeah. I just want to show you something in privacy. You, it it preloads web pages for you. What this means is if you put www.youtube.com and don't press enter, it will preload that page for you. I've turned it off because people are going to say this is what's causing your problem. So I've turned it off already. Um, let me go to, uh, let me show you the first problem I have. You hit www, everything's fine, all your tabs come up here. You hit dot and it freezes for a few seconds. And then eventually it will come back. And it'll do it every time you put the dot. It's really strange. www dot. It's frozen. I can't put any more. I can't input any more letters. It's just really annoying. And I don't know why. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe it's trying to get some tabs from the network and it's causing, you know, a stall and it's messed up that way. But they need to fix this because you can't just easily type in your website. You get stuck. But anyway, let's move on and let's load up Engadget, which is actually already loaded, but I'm going to load it again. And Google Chrome says it's pretty much done. One thing, you can't use it even though it's not done, look, it's unusable really. It's freezy, even, I mean it's still loading, but you can see it's laggy, there's some white stuff going on. It's not normal iOS experience. And anyway, now it's fully loaded, and you'll see it's it's much smoother now it's fully loaded. Um, you know, the web page is fine. I still think it's not quite as smooth as Safari, and I'll show you Safari in a minute on the same website and show you what I mean. You can see there a bit of lag, a bit of judder. I don't know why that is, I don't know, because I should be using the same engine, but don't quote me on that, I'm not completely sure. Um, if I jump over to Safari now, uh, and it's already loading that page for me. You can see while it's still loading, I can use the page. It doesn't have that same lag, and you can see it's still loading there. Um, yeah, I've got some white checker white stuff down here because it hasn't finished loading, but um, it's usable, whereas the other one wasn't. And now that oh, we can see it's still loading up here, so I'm just gonna give it a second. Now that it's finished loading, the whole web page is there, and it's very, very smooth. No hiccups whatsoever, and pinch to zoom really responsive. So you can see it's better than Google Chrome in this aspect, especially on this website. It's just much smoother. Um, you know, Google Chrome's. I really like Google Chrome. I use it on my laptop and I use it on my Android devices. But on iOS, you can see here though, it's just. It's just not responsive. This is this is on my iPod Touch 5G, so it's the same process as the 4S. So it's not weak. Um, it just I don't know what's what's weird with it. Um, maybe it's not doing what the normal iOS stuff does. I want to show you this thing that a lot of people don't know. If I load up, for example, The Verge, you can see iOS doesn't stop after the thing. And hold my uh, finger here. You'll notice it loads to a certain point and then it stops loading. Um, this is because iOS basically um, stops everything loading or stops the page refreshing because it makes everything about the user input. And if you see, if I take my finger off, it will continue loading with the site. That was just a quick tip on how iOS works for you if you didn't know. Um, I think Google Chrome does the same thing we can try. As I type the verge, you can see again, it's paused, and then it all comes together, and then you can hit enter, and if I hold my finger here, it should do the same thing. 
it'll load to a certain point and then it will freeze. And I'll just keep my finger here for a few seconds to show you that it isn't a network problem. It's not like my network is slow. And watch as soon as I take my finger off, it will continue or should continue to load the site. And there you go. You can see here, not as smooth as Safari again. I just don't know what Google Chrome problem is. I don't know. If they've got some stuff to do with it for sure. It's just, you can see here, the pinch to zoom just isn't smooth like you know and love iOS to be. And if I, again, show you the verge and we hit down and hit the desktop site because that's what we were on there. You will notice, okay, I'm just going to wait to it. It's actually not finished loading. It says here it has, but the spiral up here says different. Now it's done, and you can see it's butter smooth here. Let me just keep this still for you. It's butter smooth. Um, it wasn't like that on Google Chrome. You saw it. So I don't know what it's, what's going on with Google Chrome, but they need to sort it out. Um, it needs to be this smooth all the time. You know, it should be. Um, websites loaded. So yeah, Google Chrome needs some work, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think, as always. I'll see you guys later.